So anyway, so we have the oxidation process. This is a simplified schematics of methane combusting. It's the simplest fuel we pretty much know. So we have CH4, start off over here. This is the chemical reaction needed. Some of this path, we can take a different path to get to CO2, which is one of the byproducts of combustion, together with the H2O, as we know, if we have complete combustion. Fire is really, really complicated. It's not merely that electron jumping. This is to change the, the, the chemical side of the fire. You do not have to know that. You do not have to, have to know this. Your firefighters doesn't have to know this, but they have to understand this. Because this is critical when we get to suppression, if you don't understand this. To get from methane all the way to CO2, you need to pass something that is called free radicals. And free radicals are special molecules or, or atoms uh, that can only survive under certain circumstances. A lot of times that is a very high amount of heat. That is about four or five thousand degrees Fahrenheit. So to get from here to here, we need a very high temperature. If we reduce the temperature of that mixture below four or five thousand degrees, that chain reaction can't happen because the, 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 the free radicals can't exist. And that is fire suppression. This is fire suppression. If you get the free radicals to not exist, you have, you have suppressed the fire. At least when we talk in flame and combustion. And this is what happens. So you don't have to, you have, you don't have to know exactly this, because I don't, trust me, I don't know this. <laughs> I go like, well, that seems complicated, uh, and I leave that to the scientists. Uh, you know, that's, I reach my bottom of the nerd nest. <laughs> I nerd it out. <laughs> Uh, we have to understand it. The free radicals is really what makes it uh, stop burning. So it's this fire. Yes. Yeah. Is it an oxidation process? Yes. Yes, it is an oxidation. Is it emitting heat and light? Mm -hmm. Is it self-sustaining? Mm -hmm. Which is all. Awesome. Yes, it is. It's just a different type of fire than we're. Usually talking about we talk about fire. We talk most of the time talk about fire. We talk about flame and combustion. This is surface combustion. So we have surface oxidation or surface combustion, which we call smoldering. The oh, oh sorry, <laughs> the oxygen needs to go all the way down to the fuel because the fuel is actually sitting stuck at the surface. On in the, most of the cases we talk about this cellulose base is carbon. It's the coal that's left when we burn cellulose based. You have to get the oxygen all the way down so that the oxygen meets the fuel and can oxidize. But with flame and combustion, gaseous oxi oxidation, the fuel can travel wherever it wants until it finds the partner in oxygen and enough heat to start oxidize. And that can happen at this source of that fuel being produced, or it can happen on the other side of the building. Jason Coyo, Larry Firefighter said, it's like the seal of, seal of fire is on roller skates. We talk about flow paths. And that's also good. What's the seal of fire? We're going to get there. So, to me, I said the most correct is to number three. That's you know one of the definitions we use. It's the, it's the oxidation process, which is rapid. It's not just rust. Chemical reaction resulting in evolution of light and heat <coughs> and the intensities. The only thing I would add to that one, to the NPA, would that it be self-sustaining. You know, if, if it doesn't keep itself going, I don't think that's a good definition of fire, but that's the NPA. But just so you have to know, that's what we're talking about when we talk about fire from an educational side, we talk about from a science side. So, Talk about the net. You lower the mesh over the candle. Why are there no flames? Well, if it was the first one, if the fuel being dispersed too thin by the net, in that case, we wouldn't be able to light it on the other side, right? But if we took a match and light the, pro the products that's leaving on the other side, you see it's no problem. It burns on the other side. It 
you know, the fuel is still good. We just needed to reheat it again. Bring some stuff, stuff to burn. There's enough fuel above the net because the carbon sticks to the metal. Yeah, but a little bit of carbon sticks to the metal, it starts to soak. And actually, that is fuel. But the amount of it is very small. So the most correct to me is the net cools the flame too much. So you're stealing enough energy away from the flame so that the temperature of that mixture drops below the temperature needed for free radicals to exist above it. If the free radicals can't exist above it, we have no flame, we have no fire. So can you, can you, what? Yeah, on the, on the other side. Yeah, you also, on the upper top of that one. That's, that's not blue flame up there. Because that's what it looks like. What's that's blue? what I took it Okay, oh, oh, sorry. That one? Oh, yeah. sorry. No, that's actually just the gases. Sorry. That's just the white. It just seems like they're blue because of the colors I got in the background. That's just the white wax on the other side. So if I take a candle and I just take a nail, piece of nail and I stick it through the candle. Why is it that the, you see that around the nail, why is it that there's no flame? Why isn't the flame touching the, the, the nail? It's cooling. The gas it's cooling. Gas next to it. Are you doing gas cooling? Yes. Yes. Awesome. 